I gotta tell you, Johannes Grunz Fertner is one insane filmmaker and his new project really took me to the limit. I got to tell you that right now. Let's jump into my review of his new film, Masking Threshold. what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film masking threshold what made its world premiere this year at fantastic fest 2021 now johannes is the writer director and star of this film and this may be one of the most insane movies i have seen because it really took me in all different directions i really didn't know what to expect it kind of softened me up in one way, then it started to educate me, and then it just got flat out brutal. But man, was this a very, almost a stressful film just because of how much I had to endure in this film. But I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it. And Johannes is an, um, is an Australian filmmaker, so this is one of those type of films where like I saw that I wanted to check it out and I was intrigued because I did not really get a sense of what this film was just by reading the synopsis, but I was definitely intrigued. And I also think that um, by being um, Australian, that I also had an extra level of appreciation due to other films that I've seen from other Australian filmmakers. So I was totally excited to see what was going to happen in this one. But uh, where do I go, man? This IT guy, this doesn't have a name but he basically in the sense of trying to set the, the 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 let me set the picture for you let me set the table for you here you have this it guy who has um uh tintinitis so he has a hearing impairment uh, impairment issue and basically he wants to be able to um he, he he's going to talk about his experiments with it and um how he may potentially be able to find a cure and the sense of how this film is being delivered to you almost comes off like a visual podcast where how he's narrating the different things that he's going through and they're giving you all these abstract visuals to kind of complement the things that he's saying. But ultimately, it feels like a podcast. So you could almost appreciate this film without actually watching it. And I thought that when you consider um, the narration with the different sound effects that you hear from it. The sound mixing is fantastic because you know exactly what you're hearing when you're hearing it, even if you're not looking at it. But yeah, he's conducting experiments to better understand and to cure his hearing impairment. Um, and again, I think that um, with his extreme projection of voice, it also adds like another bit of tension when you're listening to it because he's very, very passionate to the 10th degree in order to conduct the things that he's talking about and express to you how much this means to him. And like, he's an IT technician, but he, you know, the knowledge that he has almost makes him feel like he's a scientist. So to me, because I'm not familiar with any of this at all, you're being bombarded with so much information that you may potentially want to start Googling some of this stuff up for yourself too. But ultimately, whether you believe it or not, whether it's factional, fictional or not um the fact that how he's expressing what he's going through and the, the experiments and what he's testing comes off in the sense of like very interesting <laughs> so it's like you're getting so much information with these really cool visuals to complement them that you think that's what the film's going to be you're going to have this guy who's this really unorthodox um strange you may even add in trying to do something that means a lot to him that has been affecting his life sounds really noble but uh yeah along with that and here's where things get interesting with this film because he starts to explain how uh titanitis works and he talks about the experiments that he's doing and he's using neighbors as test subjects and sometimes some of the experiments they pass and fail it and he explains to you what the experiment is and how it should be concluded as a viewer, you start to wonder if you are passing and failing these experiments because of what the result of these experiments may be. And what I'm talking about is that like he's like 
playing with certain sounds and then he's asking a person can you hear that and the person's responding like no but then you you can hear it or at least i can hear it so i'm like what is going on here so like the film is really taking your mind into all different directions and it's a very strange thing but along with that you're hearing all sorts of different types of noises you're hearing like like normal noises that you hear on the regular like a fan but then you're hearing like buzzing screeching uh like a teapot high screeching noise um all sorts of different things and then he's explaining about cells and vibration and all that other sorts of stuff so that's part of the film <laughs> then the film gets absolutely gross and may might i add it's for mature audiences viewer discretion is advised because the visuals get insane the deeper and deeper the film gets um if you have a very light or soft stomach whatever the term is this may not be for you because they show you some things that are just like oh because it eventually was just in the beginning just like microscopic visuals of like sales and all sorts of stuff like that almost like a documentary or whatnot but then things starts to get much more insane with bugs with some gore uh just other random ghost uh gross antics like it really does a drastic change in tone from what the beginning of the film was as it got deeper it just gets insane it goes from almost like normal to like ill to just flat out gross almost to a point you may want to vomit like for real for real with that being said this character this unknown name this unnamed person who you never see by the way but you know if you uh look up who uh the filmmaker is you can obviously tell us him um i gotta say that i really was root i like to the point i was rooting for him because i'm like oh this is such a good thing that he's doing to a point that i'm just like oh he's rude as hell to his neighbors uh he has this very extreme personality he has all the signs of a please stay away from him type of person like this um very um this 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 how 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 he socializes how he's living his life just all sorts of just red flags of just like you may want to stay away from this guy he may not be all right in the head here um and that's where like you start to see this obsession of studies really take over everything to the point that others fall casualty to his obsession and i i i can't help but to say that the ending was so satisfying because it's exactly what i needed to happen because i was so over him i was so over everything that he made me embody in this film but it was just one of those type of things where it's just like, this dude is a sicko. I need him to be done. I need this to all be done. Like, man, it just it just kept going far. It's like, for him, he just really kept trying to go further and further with his experiments. To the point that he thought he was chosen to do this. Like, his God put him on Earth in order to be the one to conduct these experiments, no matter the casualties around him. This dude is clearly a psychopath and a sociopath, all in one, stirred up really good, and is completely dangerous. So that's that. So this film was absolutely an adventure, and why I love the film, I was so grossed out. It was a fantastic film because it was something unlike I've seen before. I really like how the structure of this film was done. And ultimately, the result was so refreshing that I'm very happy. <laughs> so I'm happy as a viewer. And, 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 and then from a critic standpoint, I thought the film was put together really well. The best part of this film was the sound mixing. The narration was really good. The quality, but them adding the sounds to, to it really took things to the next level. And again, you can watch this film almost without watching it and just listening and appreciate it. But then the visuals were done really, really good as well, too. So... Overall, I, I enjoyed this film. This is a film that I have to kind of stomach up to watch again soon. But at some point, I will go down the line and check it out again. But again, folks, this is Masking Threshold. Check it out, folks. Jump in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about this film. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.
Thank you.